Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. This reading will be for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus between now and the end of September. It's really from September 15th through 30th. But let's see what's going on with Gemini. If you just found the channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you very much for your support. It is appreciated. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. This one just turned, so let's see. We have the we have the six of cups. I feel like a lot of Gemini's have started up new relationships that seem to be going quite well. Uh, but I feel like a lot of Gemini's are having a hard time turning away or turning their back on former partners. So I feel like the Gemini is being split in two or stuck between the two. They're stuck between two people or Two objectives or even two loves could be. And it's not that they don't want to give one up. I feel like they're just very loyal to one in particular, perhaps one that they've known longer. We have the seven of pentacles. So again, one that they've known longer, one that they have more of a history with, whether it's a good history or a bad history. They still have a lot of respect for the person, especially if they have children with them. So they are a bit reluctant to break that tie or that bond right now. If this is a work situation, the Gemini might feel like they're putting a lot of time and money into their project or their work or their business, and they wish that they could get more money back out of it. Like they wish, it. and it's obvious with the Seven of Pentacles, but it feels quite obvious the situation. They're hoping that before the end of the year that they will really turn a corner and get that big contract that will send them over the edge. They can also be planning to relocate and move to a new location where they might get better business or less taxes because they really want to get over that hump. We have Major Arcana Death. So to me, this feels like the two issues already discussed. They're feeling like they have to end the relationship with one person, but they still feel loyal to the one, being happy in a new relationship, but not really wanting to convey that to their former partner. And also thinking about vacating or leaving their current living environment or living location to pursue um, better opportunities for their future. We have the Ace of Swords. So it's clear, to, it's clear to me, it's clear to Gemini, it's clear to you what you do want to do. There's not really a lot of conflict, uh, internal conflict. You kind of know what you need to do. You know what must be done. Um, You just, you don't want to hurt your former partner. And also you might be a bit nostalgic for where you currently live. We have major arcana strength. You might be quite a bit nostalgic for where you live or your life condition, even being around family, uh, being around friends, being around the familiar. But it's like, you know that you will have to move away from this if you really want to succeed. You can't stay where you are now if you really want to have that type of growth that you want. It feels like career-wise. You, you know you'll have to move away. And there might even be some aspect of having to move away from a former partner to finally be free of them as well. <clears throat> We have the Queen of Wands. So I feel like uh, this is the person who the Gemini elemental sign and energy or just the general energy that they're trying to uh, move away from or get away from. Again, they have a lot of respect for that person. That person still has a lot of respect for them, but they know in some ways that they control that Gemini. And it's like they're going to have to break away from each other or the Gemini is feeling like they have to finally get away from that person and try to forget them. 
we have the Queen of Cups. So look at that. This is the two people that I felt like were between the Gemini at the beginning of the reading. Like they're caught between two people, two loves, two situation. One they have a big history with. Uh, and the other one they they like. They, they might even be starting really to build a bond of love with this other person. But they can't be free because there's they're still obligated to the original or older partner. They have more of a history with them. And the Gemini might be thinking or ready to pack up and kind of move away or move on. Might be even with the new person to clear the plate and start something new. We have Major Arcana, the Moon. So... Yeah, the, I, I feel like the Gemini is leaving. They're, they're, I feel like they're moving away from where they are. It can even be the neighborhood if it's not to a new town or a new city or a new state. Might be leaving out of the neighborhood into a different location where they have a bit more freedom and privacy and a fresh start. It's like everybody knows them, everybody knows their history, and they just want a break away from this. They want to be a bit incognito. They want to be a bit um, alone, and uh, not alone, but like anonymous, and have the, the luxury of just starting over without any preconceived notions about who they are, what they want, what they need. And this is kind of the energy of the person who they were with before. They seem to think that they know everything about the Gemini. But it's a pretty good chance that the Gemini is not the same person who they were when they knew them. Especially if they were younger with that six of cups. But they're not giving the Gemini the benefit of that growth. Let's see what else is coming up. Weird little shuffle. We have the major arcana, the empress. So I do feel like this is a combination of pressure from family for the Gemini, but it's also if they have children, whether it's a man or a woman, they have children with the former partner. They are just having a hard time of differentiating their love and loyalty and emotion and affection for their former partner, for their children and their family life. They are, they are really caught up in that. They can also have parents who are pressuring them to reconcile or get back together with former partners to keep the family together. They can also have parents who are pressuring them not to move away, to stay closer to them. Uh, so the Gemini is being torn between two diametric objectives, but I feel like one of them is more known to them, one is more inside of them, what they really want, and so it's an internal versus external versus others outside of them pressuring them to do something that they really don't want to do. We have Major Arcana, the Magician. They know that they can do better if they take a chance. They're not risk averse. Whereas Taurus had an issue of risk, the Gemini is not afraid to take on the risk. They know they can uh, do well. They know they can accomplish what they want to. We have a major arcana, the high priestess. So we have a whole role of major arcanas now. Uh, we have the empress. We have the magician. We have the high priestess. They know that there's something else ready for them, waiting for them. They know it. They can feel it. Their life is somewhere else other than where they are, which sounds odd enough because you should always stay in the present, but they they know that they can, they feel like they should move on. And it's like they know that this is, this is, something that they have to do if the, the, it will be better for them especially for business we have the so we have the ace of 
Wands, we're just getting a lot of confirmation now. We have the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Swords. We're talking about a fresh start, new opportunities, new chances for change. Not someone having preconceived notions or stereotypes about who they are. We have the Ace of Swords again. So we're just starting to pull up the same kind of energy now. I just wanted to show you that. You see that? So it's just time that the Gemini feels like they got to make this change. And they might end up leaving both of these people or separating them. One of them they can't because I feel like one of them is the mother or father of their child. So they will always have a connection, but they might leave really where they live or neighborhood to get away from that one. Another major arcana. This is incredible. The Hierophant. This is with this um, Queen of Wands. So I feel like this is an ex-wife, former wife, or long-term partner who they have a loyalty to, who they may have never married, but they feel like this was their wife or is their wife. So even though they're trying to date or husband, trying to date or be with other people, they can't get this person out of their mind, out of their thoughts, or out of their responsibility, or out of their loyalty. Very loyal to that one. Major Arcana, the world. This is big energy for Gemini. This is on top of the Queen of Cups. If it's, I feel like they are very attached to this newer person, but uh, they have, they feel limited, and even like they might have to move away and start over somewhere else with this new person to get a fresh start and to give the relationship a chance. We have the Seven of Swords paired with the Moon, which is a very interesting energy. I feel like with one partner or with one love interest or former love interest, they're being very upfront. And with the other one, they're concealing a lot because they're afraid that their plans may be ruined or spoiled. But I do feel like that Gemini is planning to make a break and start over. We're going to go ahead and leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully, I'll see you back here again next month. Bye-bye.